This Keller Land Living segment is sponsored by Reliabank, a family-owned comprehensive financial institution serving our immediate South Dakota area. You can rely on Reliabank. Are you at home? Or maybe you are at work and looking forward to going home at the end of the day? I'll bet it's pretty nice to know that you have a place to go to and settle in. Now imagine how it would feel if you didn't have a place to call home. That's been the reality for nearly 200 families in the greater Sioux Falls area. But as you are about to hear in this week's ReliBank Business Beat, thankfully Habitat for Humanity was there to put a roof over their heads and a foundation beneath their feet. Thank you so much, Rocky, for joining me here today at ReliBank. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yes, it's a pleasure to have you here. Now, Habitat for Humanity, a lot of us know all about it, but let's just recap what your mission is and what you provide to our community. Yeah, so Habitat for Humanity believes um, that everyone should have a decent place to live, right? That's, that's our mission, just completely bare bones. But we do a lot more than that. We focus a lot on affordable housing in the community, uh, also a big focus on environmental sustainability and also neighborhood revitalization. We're really just trying to focus on a lot of different ways that we can positively impact housing and the neighbors in our community. What is the current state of affordable housing in our community right now? Oh, you know, I know it's a, it's a hot button topic on almost a daily basis, right? And so to kind of put it in perspective, um, before the pandemic, you know, there was a housing study that said we needed 4,500 housing units for Sioux Falls. Well, it's also no secret that a bunch of people moved to the Sioux Falls area in South Dakota during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So if we needed 4,500 housing units a couple years ago, I mean, imagine how many we need now. Uh, there's it, one home we built, put it uh, also in perspective, three and a half years ago, appraised for $180,000. We build that same home now. It could be two blocks over. You're looking at two hundred ninety dollars to $300,000. So it's really up to, you know, nonprofits like Habitat for Humanity, um, some other affordable home building partners, and really city and state government to kind of step in and, and try to help that out a little bit. So how do you make this possible? How do you help the current issue? Where do you get the funds, the supplies to build these homes for people? Yeah, so, you know, we, we have a lot of different programs and partnerships that make it possible. Um, our goal is to obviously fundraise for the home and we, we utilize a lot of volunteers in the community and a lot of other um, just private business partners. You know, we can't, we can only build so many homes with volunteers. So we've created some new partnerships, a little innovation over the last couple of years like we currently build with the Career and Technical Education Academy, the local high school students out of Sioux Falls. And then again, this last year, we started building with Southeast Technical College as well. So, but really it comes down to fundraising, right? From just local businesses, through grants, through individual donations, and then also working with a lot of volunteers in the community. We work with several hundred volunteers that are out on the build site throughout the year. So you're building these affordable houses, but now also giving work opportunities to students. Yeah, you know, another one of the big issues facing um, our community and really probably the country as a whole is workforce development. We all know that there's a shortage of workers, especially workers in the skilled trades. So now we get to work with local high school students, the local college students, and give them some hands-on experience in pretty much every phase of the home building industry. So the students learn to give back, they learn a skilled trade, and we can provide more housing for the Sioux Falls area. Tell me more about the current housing development that Habitat for Humanity is working on right now. So a couple years ago, uh, unfortunately, we couldn't buy any land anywhere, just like most of the private builders in our area. And so we were forced to, um, just out of necessity, to go and develop our own, our own housing development. So what it is, it's 13 twin homes, 26 units in Northeast Sioux Falls that we will be building on over the next couple years. Uh, we started it in partnership with the city of Sioux Falls as well. And now we have a lot of business partners, some other community partners, some state partners, all coming in to kind of to kind of help build it out over the next, I would say probably two to two and a half years. You've mentioned that volunteers play a big key role in making Habitat for Humanity a success. Now with a project like this, of this size and doing a development, how many volunteers would you say on average participate in something like that? 
you know, we, well, we build Tuesday through Saturday, right, year-round. So we have volunteers always on site. So last week alone, we had a women build, and we had more than 120 volunteers over three days, um, specifically on that housing development, working on three twin homes, which will provide housing for six families here in Sioux Falls next year. How can people access your programs? So our program, the best place for information, it is on our website on SiouxFallsHabitat.org. Uh, there we talk about our new construction programs, our neighborhood revitalization programs for existing homeowners. We also highlight everything that we do in the ReStore and everything we're doing there with environmental sustainability and also providing you know, local homeowners with options to update their homes and do rehab projects without having to spend all their dollars going to, um, going to some of the big box stores if they can't afford it. So really there's an option for basically anyone trying to do anything. Yeah, if you're trying to do something in housing in, in Sioux Falls, we'll either be able to help you do it, we can talk to you about it, or we'll point you in the right direction. You've got a program for it, <laughs> we'll right? Figure, we'll figure it out, yeah. <laughs> now, if someone is interested in being a volunteer, what are the requirements for that? I mean, how many hours do they have to put into this? What does it look like? So we try to have like the, we try to really get rid of all those entry requirements to be a volunteer with Habitat. You know, our, our mission's really focused on bringing people together, a lot of people together uh, from the community. And with that being said, for new construction, um, you don't need to have any experience in the home building industry. There's a lot of people that have never swung a hammer, and if you don't feel comfortable swinging a hammer, that's okay. We'll put you to some other job, right? We'll figure it out, uh, but really you just need to reach out. If you reach out to Habitat for Humanity, you say, hey, I'm interested in getting involved, we're gonna find a way for you to give back through one of our construction programs. Sounds like it's a great way to learn some new skills too, right? Yeah, there's, you know, we've had, we've had a lot of people that have volunteered and then have come back and talked to us and said, hey, I learned this on the job site, I went and did a project on my own home, and that's fantastic, right? Like, that's great. And if you didn't learn it growing up, maybe from your parents, then um, this is a perfect opportunity to come and get experience in that area. What do you find most rewarding about being part of Habitat for Humanity? So, you know, it's really that home dedication day, right, for new construction. I, my favorite part, and I've, I've told this story before, but uh, the first home dedication I went to, I had just started, and the family's all there, right, and all the children are there, and they get the keys to their home, and the kids start running through the house, and they start, like, arguing over who gets which bedroom, right? right? And you can, you know, these, these kids have lived in an apartment their entire lives. They've never had their own bedroom. And to see them so excited and just, you know, having those conversations about where they're going to sleep and where they're going to put their bed, I, that's what makes it all worth it. I love that story. Thank you for sharing. And thank you so much for coming here today and telling us all about Habitat for Humanity. Yeah, I appreciate the opportunity. Habitat for Humanity of Greater Sioux Falls was created in 1989 to bring people together to build homes, community, and hope. Through financial support and volunteerism in the community to date, Habitat has built or rehabbed 177 homes for 276 adults and 689 children. In addition to new home construction, Habitat has also helped 212 families live with dignity by partnering together through its neighborhood revitalization home repairs program. You can find Habitat for Humanities Restore at 721 East Amidon Street in Sioux Falls. You can find out about Habitat's volunteer opportunities online at SiouxFallsHabitat.org. Business Beat is brought to you by ReliaBank. With 10 locations across South Dakota, ReliaBank prides itself on being a partner in every community they serve. In Sioux Falls, you'll find them at 608 West 86th Street. You can also find the ReliaBank nearest you by checking out their website at ReliaBank.com. This Kelloland Living segment has been sponsored by ReliaBank a family-owned comprehensive financial institution serving our immediate South Dakota area. You can rely on ReliaBank.